What's up guys? Uh, more work on the cabinets. Uh, this will be a few pieces I have probably put together here. Um, so here's the cabinet that I made before. I removed this stuff. I have my camper here. I have some cans of soup. Uh, and I'm going to test them out on this just to see how it holds. Um, so this is made out of one inch foam. And I mean, it already seems really good. Um, I know it's not done yet, not even close to being done yet, but the structural integrity of it as it is seems pretty good already. And what I've did, what I've done, if you, if you've seen my other videos, you'll will have uh, seen my technique. But I take a drill bit, and I've been using on one inch. I've been using quarter inch dowel. Actually, I have some right over here next to my glass of wine. <laughs> uh, and so then I uh, drill a hole. And it's usually, I think two, no, I think maybe I use three inches. And, and then I slide it in the hole along with either, there's the special foam caulk that I've showed before. I'll have to get it in a clip um, uh, that I, I just got at Home Depot or uh, this Gorilla Glue that came in a, uh, a caulk gun as well, caulk tube. And I'll, I'll, I'll squirt that in there and then I slide in the dowel. And it's worked really well so far. Uh, in this case, I put four on this side, three on this side. Um, this one, this here, this piece, had a weird bow to it. So I just wanted to, I just ended up using three pieces just to make sure I can get it straight. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm holding it by the top. It, it doesn't feel weak. It definitely feels good. Um, and you kind of might notice the weird cut that I made here. And I just did that so that uh, the light strip that I have here on the edge will shine light through and out here. So that's why I have that weird little cut right there. Um, so I have no idea what's going to happen. This is not fiberglassed or reinforced at all. All I have is that dowel method right here. And then I have a line of the foam caulk in the middle here so when I push it together and then I put weight on it to pinch it together and then I squeezed uh, a line on both sides here so let's see how it goes everybody knows that cans of soup aren't aren't nothing <laughs> yes but and that's what you're gonna have in a kitchen and there's six of them no creaking no sound at all so i'm feeling pretty good about this and once it's bouncing around and moving on the road yeah it's going to move a little bit more but what what i'm thinking so far is i'm going to fiberglass uh this part here as well as this part here to support this shelf um and then I'm doing a test piece that's inside by the fire fireplace right now. I have a scrap piece of foam. And uh, if you watched my last video, look at the comments. A lot of people gave their suggestions and everything. Uh, one person had suggested uh, resin over top of this. And I kind of had it in mind, but for some reason had a brain fart and I didn't include that in the testing. So uh, I do want to work on that as well. So I have a piece by the fireplace right now that I just resined, which is just a, a standard piece of foam. Uh, I sanded the edges. Oh, that's the other thing too I'll touch on. Uh, but I sanded the edges, put resin over the whole thing, and then I am going to check it out, see how it looks, maybe try sanding it if it's not quite smooth, and then um, I'll spray paint it and see how that goes. Uh, but that's the plan here. Um, and then, so in all the other videos that I've seen, when they're talking about foamy ca cabinets and stuff, uh, nobody talks about sanding. And it's very easy to do and really comes out nice. So I have, you can use any fine grit. Um, this is one of, just a piece from Home Depot. This is a uh, drywall um, sanding block. Uh, I've used other pieces as long as it's, kind of fine it'll come out nice so i normally do this outside because you don't want to breathe this stuff in i would imagine but I'll, I'll just do this real quick and it's i still have to get more i have to get the inside but you can see it definitely starts smoothing it out really really nice uh this piece this uh part right here i already did um another thing that i've noticed for cutting this cutting these boards and stuff 
Uh, a lot of people use razors, and that and that's fine. Let me find my razor. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. So I really like using. Uh, at first, I was using these this style razor, and what's nice is you can fully extend it, and then you can cut uh, right down. The problem is foam, just like carpet and a lot of other materials, uh, dulls blades really quickly. So you have to go through quite a few of these. Otherwise, as the blade gets dull, you definitely get more of a rough cut. Um, I don't see any examples right now. Actually, there's one right there. Uh, it starts looking rough like that. So no matter how smooth or you try to be or how slow you try to go, that uh, it just comes out rough. Uh, what I've been really liking lately, as long as I can fit it on my table saw, I will set this up to the, the size that I need to cut. I just rip it through, goes through really quickly. And if you dwell on it, I guess it hasn't happened yet, but I would imagine if you if you go too slow, you might heat it up and melt the foam a little bit. But I've, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not really a concern. I've I've gone through, I've done this quite a bit, and I haven't seen anything melting. But it does cut really, really nice. And this blade uh, is actually really, really old. It's probably like a 20-year-old blade, and it cuts it like butter. It, it's really nice. And everything's accurate. It's straight. Uh, you don't have to worry about trying to hack through with this razor or any other style razor. Uh, so I highly recommend these tools for uh, doing this job. Um, so I'll let you know how things go. And I, I want to see how that piece by the fireplace comes out. And I'll uh, add that video to this. But there's six cans right there. And it's holding pretty nicely. And there, I might have even been able to use half inch or something a little bit lighter, but that, that piece right there is already quite light. Uh, so I think, I'm thinking it'll be okay. Uh, for drawers, I'm really still racking it, my brain trying to figure out what to do. Um, I, of course, want to keep it lightweight, uh, but I could do a slider, put a slider, two sliders in here, two sliders down there, just like I did there. Um, make a square wood box with a, a nice drawer front like you have in your kitchen uh, with a handle and slide it in and out. And I think that would work just fine. Um, and I'm sure it would come out looking great, but it's all gonna add weight and all gonna cost more money. Um, the money side isn't quite as big, when you're already spending this much money doing a project like this, but um, it, it's it's definitely weight, which I and weight in the rear, which you, you definitely don't want. So I took the measurements, and I'm gonna see if I can find uh, just like a, a really lightweight thing, like they sell at Target, where you have a drawer, and you can just like a fabric drawer, and you pull out. Usually, have a solid bottom. Um, I'm not sure how it'll slide. I think once. Uh, this is all resined over and it's really smooth. It'll, I think it'll slide really nice. But I think if I could find something that'll fit in here, which would just be awesome, um, I'll be able to slide it out and then there's usually handles on the side. You can actually even pull it out and take it with you, take it to the picnic table or something. But I think that's what I'm gonna try to hopefully find. Um, and then as long as the resin uh, theory comes out and I can uh, resin this and then paint it, then I'll just leave the edges, clean them all up, and then paint everything, and that'll be my finish. So more to come, but I just want to update you guys because there really isn't a whole lot out there for, for cabinets and foamies, and a lot of people have built foamies, uh, and there just hasn't been a whole lot of videos uh, on all this stuff. So uh, more to come. All right, so it's the next morning. Uh, this is all dry. I put epoxy resin on the top of this. You can see how glossy it is. And then on each of the sides of the edges here. So next I'm going to spray paint it and uh, see how it comes out. And I can already tell you that it's not any stronger because of the, the resin, which I didn't expect it to, but a lot of people think that it's going to make it stronger. Um, I'm just going for the a nice clean finish. Uh, so I'm going to paint that. Quick now. update before I paint this. Um, I just sanded this side here, so the side with the lettering. Um, I sanded it just a little bit with 150 grit, um, just dry, a drywall sanding block. And so this is definitely still rough, 
but this is smooth and nice. It looks really good. I also sanded this edge here and this edge here. Uh, this one has some deep grooves, so it's not perfect, but um, I sanded it a little bit. And then, so this side is still rough, um, and then this side is really rough. So I didn't sand either of those. But I'm liking the way this is going so far. I think this is gonna be a good surface to, to paint. So we'll see. I'm back in my uh, basement. I just spray painted this and it came out much better being covered with epoxy. So the foam isn't eaten. It looks really good. Uh, it's really hard to tell a difference between the sanded side, which is this side here, and the not sanded side. Um, this side's a little bit smoother, uh, but it also has a few air bubble holes. Um, so what I think I would recommend is uh, putting one, one layer of epoxy, sanding it, and then probably doing another layer, um, and then primer and paint. And then um, I'm, I'm probably gonna do a final layer as well. But what I'm gonna do now is spray some, I don't know, one of the two, black or gray on this and see if it fills in some holes and see how it looks. Uh, and that would, if I could fill those holes in, that would save me a second coat of epoxy. But yeah, looking good. It's not eaten like it was before. So I sprayed black. Uh, so I have a layer of um, primer and then black. And I think it's looking pretty good actually. Uh, you can tell the right side is definitely smoother. You can feel that it's smoother. This one has a lot more ridges and bumps because I didn't sand the side. You can kind of see in the reflection. And obviously this edge looks bad. It's not a straight edge. It's just a test piece, but um, the edges look decent. So this is the one that I sanded. This is the one that I sanded. This, I, I did actually sand it slightly, but uh, it's still pretty rough. And then this is very rough. Did not sand that one at all. This is the backside from a previous test. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, just to put another layer on it, um, my wife wants to do the Tiffany blue for the cabinets, the foam cabinets. Uh, I'm fine with that, add some color. Uh, I think it'll be okay. But I'm gonna spray this on here and just see how it looks from there. Update on painting the foam for cabinets. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. It's still a little wet, um, but I think it looks okay. There's There are some black spots and holes, a little more so on the side that I painted or that I sanded. Uh, than this side and, and that might just be because it's showing up more because the black I painted black first I think if I didn't paint black first it wouldn't show up quite as much so and ironically like this doesn't feel so bad yeah, this is still smoother for sure so I'll spray on one more coat of this blue and see how that goes and I, I like how this is going so far uh, once this is done I'll probably finish it with a layer of epoxy okay uh, final layer so that's uh, primer and then two layers of paint and there's still some black dots which I don't think would be as obvious if um, I didn't spray it black first but because the foam itself is already green and so I don't think it would really be all that obvious. Um, also, I could... Oh, oops. Face up. Yay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I could have also put another layer of resin in between, maybe after the uh, primer, before the first layer of paint. And I might try that um, on the finished product. We'll see. But... Much better than the other other ones that I tried with uh, without the resin. So looking good so far. Hey guys, so I'm back in the garage, and this is the final result of, what was it, one layer of primer, I think two, maybe three layers of paint. Uh, it came out 
nice. Um, it definitely would have to be resin a final time. I bumped the corner a little bit and you can see how it chipped off right there. So it definitely would be uh, required to put down another layer of resin just to protect the foam. Uh, so it's no stronger. Like I could still just break it. Um, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. If you're doing this for structural integrity, then you're going to have to add some fiberglass uh, or something. But yeah, so there it is. I like it. Uh, I'm probably going to go with painting and I'm going to be fiberglassing just certain areas to make it stronger. But I'm happy with the way the edges turned out. And it does look a little black. Uh, there are some black spots, but I think without uh, a layer of black paint, uh, I think it'll be a lot better. Uh, so that's where I'm at with this. I'm working on some cabinets, uh, which I'll have in an, another video. But yeah, I'm, I'm starting to build a shelf here and uh, more stuff, more stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys.